Hello, my name is Will Frazier. I'm here to talk to you about my tattoos and my general tattoo philosophy. I have 10 total tattoos. I got my first one when I was 18 years old. Kentucky Wildcat symbol. I wanted to get it ever since I was a little kid. <laughs> um, I got a whole bunch after that, but uh, more recently they've gotten uh, a little deeper, a lot more meaning to them as I've gotten older. I got uh, an ambigram of my last name, Frazier, which is same upside down, front wise. Sort of remind um, me and everyone, just look at the world from as many different angles as you can. And uh, then I got my centerpieces here, my pride and joy, my Polaroids on my forearms. Uh, the idea was inspired by a television show on HBO called Six Feet Under. Um, the quote reads, you can't take a picture of this, it's already gone. And some people see these and uh, they think that it's sort of a gloomy message, gloomy, doomy, depressing message. But, it's the exact opposite for me. I see these every day, and it just reminds me that life is short. You only get to do this one time. So you better have as much fun as you can right now, every day. My latest idea is a chain link fence. It may not sound pretty simple, but uh, it is not. I want it on my right thigh here, from just above my knee, all the way up. All the way up to almost my hip bone here, around just underneath my butt and down around the inside, pretty much my whole right thigh. Sounds simple, just chain link, no poles or anything, just chain link, but this is where I need a very skilled artist. On the actual wire itself of the chain link, I, I want words. There's a song by my favorite band, the name of the song is Chain Link Fence. And I want these, the words to that song printed out on the actual chain link. There's uh, one of the first, It's uh, the line of the song is, well, I'm sitting right here on a chain link fence, so I want to be sitting right here on a chain link fence for the rest of my life. I'll leave you with my personal tattoo philosophy. Tattoos are just scars. Scars invoke bad memories for most people. The word scar is not a pleasant word. But I believe that we collect scars every day. Everywhere we go, from every person we meet. Things happen to us that mold us, change us, leave marks in us forever. They happen in little segments of time, little moments. They add up to change and shape our lives and who we are as individuals. These moments aren't always sad, dark or bad. They can be powerful, happy and sweet. But those leave no everlasting mark, no visual reminder of what happened. That is what tattoos are for me. Happy scars. They're a collection of moments, people, places, events, which have changed me and shaped me into the man I am today. I will always continue to grow and change as a person, and my tattoos will continue to grow and change right along with me. My name is Will Frazier, and thank you for listening.